I bet you've wondered why we don't just shoot our nuclear waste into space. It seems like the perfect solution, right? But hold on to your hazmat suits, because we're about to dive into why this seemingly simple idea is anything but straightforward. Let's start with the basics. Nuclear waste is the radioactive byproduct of nuclear power plants and weapons production. It remains hazardous for up to 250,000 years. Shooting it into space sounds great at first. No more worries about contamination or long-term storage on Earth, right? But here's where things get tricky. Launching anything into space is incredibly expensive. We're talking about $10,000 to $20,000 per kilogram, and nuclear waste? There's about 250,000 tons of it worldwide. We'd need countless rocket launches to make a dent in our earthly stockpile. That's a price tag in the trillions. And that's not even the biggest problem. Rockets have a failure rate of about 1 in 20. Now imagine a rocket filled with nuclear waste exploding in our atmosphere. It would be like setting off a dirty bomb, spreading radioactive material over a massive area. The environmental and health consequences would be catastrophic. So, if space is out, what are we left with? It turns out that keeping nuclear waste on Earth isn't as bad as it might sound. Scientists and engineers have developed sophisticated methods for storing nuclear waste safely. Deep geological repositories, for example, bury waste 300 to 1,000 meters underground in stable rock formations. These facilities are designed to contain the waste for hundreds of thousands of years, far longer than human civilization has existed. They use multiple barriers, the waste form itself, metal containers, and surrounding clay or rock. While no solution is perfect, these earthbound options are currently our safest and most practical choice. They allow us to monitor the waste, improve our storage techniques over time, and avoid the risks of space launches. While shooting our nuclear waste into space might seem like a stellar idea, the reality is far more complex. For now, our best bet is to keep our feet, and our waste, firmly on the ground, focusing on improving our storage and potential recycling technologies.